Um, hi, my name is Ryan Needles and I'm a junior at North Star. And my poem is called Size Nine. My whole life I have been taught to do big things. Dream big, achieve big, be big so you can imagine my surprise when I realized that being big was wrong. I grew up with a pretty face and tight jeans. I grew up with my mom's shape and my brothers didn't. I grew up crying silently in the passenger seat after leaving the mall empty handed. I grew up with a hatred for dressing rooms. I grew up going to the doctor for a sinus infection and getting an hour long talk about healthy eating. I grew up counting calories and the number of girls that were prettier than me. I grew up using the entire class period before lunch to decide if I should eat or not. I grew up hearing, you look like you're losing weight, and nothing tastes as good as skinny feels from people who have clearly never experienced pepperoni pizza rolls. I grew up seeing boys obsess over girls whose waists were smaller than their heads. I grew up with thigh gaps and perfectly sculpted abs force-fed to me like empty calories every single day. I grew up gasping for air. I grew up with society telling me that I am flawed. And now, I'm telling society to look in a mirror because it's made me afraid to. It's like playing tug of war with the whole world and with that many people pulling from the other side. Even your extra weight won't help you win. And as I grew up, I realized that fitting into our culture is as hard as fitting into a size nine. I grew up hearing my thin friends calling themselves fat and wondering what that made me. I grew up spending hours in front of the mirror wishing I could shrink myself into society's tiny glass box of perfection that would surely suffocate me, but at least I'd fit in. I grew up with skinny friends. I grew up obsessed with the number on the scale. I walked through life as though it was printed across my forehead. I believed my weight was the antagonist in every book ever written about me. They couldn't see my straight A's or my first place. They only saw the way my bra squeezed my sides or how my jeans squeezed my stomach, not the way their words squeezed my heart and my heart is a grenade ticking faster with each prolonged stare, each crude comment, each discouraging way and all leading up to the blast until finally I'll scream out, I am beautiful. Even though I don't believe it. But maybe if I yelled it to a big enough crowd, even just one person would stand up and say, yes, you are. Not that it would change my mind. But maybe somebody would see that the big shoes that I have to fill are the same size as anyone else's, that my dreams are big and so are my thighs. But those two things are not related, you see. I grew up with a heart fatter than me. I grew up being taught that being who you are is the most important thing a person can be. I could be mean, dishonest, or hateful. So big, it's really the worst thing that comes to mind when people meet me. I'll start writing it on my name tag.